Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Bhutali, or you can call me Busala, or you can call me Tori. And today I'll be doing a Q&A on my Instagram. I asked a few questions. Uh, actually, no. I asked you guys to ask a few questions. Okay, so the first question that I got was from Yemi, my sister. <laughs> Hello, Yemi. Um, and the question was, why are you vegan? Initially, it was for health reasons. Um, in matric in 2017, I broke up, broke out. Not broke up. I mean, I did break up with somebody, but that's a story for another day. Um, I broke out really heavily on my skin. I got really, really bad acne. I think it was also the stress and exams coming up, you know. So um, I decided to go vegan. It was an, a gradual process. I was first um, pescatarian and then vegetarian and then vegan and now i'm vegan so yeah and now the reasons why i'm vegan is for the environment primarily because uh it is the most sustainable way um given our current situation environmentally um it's the most sustainable way health wise age wise um it sustains your age you look young and <laughs> uh and also just for the environment because the way that they produce animal products nowadays is actually causing earth to degrade at a much faster rate than it can replenish itself so i don't want to be a part of that cause and i say this with no judgment i understand people have many reasons for for leading the lifestyles that they do whether it be habits or religion or just because they're unaware and they're not exposed and they don't know all they see is the happy cow on on the on the milk carton um that cow wasn't smiling guys so yeah okay what do i hate most about being vegan what i hate most about being vegan is the negative connotations that are associated with being vegan and the stigma that exists <laughs> Kopano. Hi Kopano. Hello. My name is Kopano. And? I'm six years old. Mm -hmm. And? My birthday is in February. Oh, say and I'm happy to be here. Like a church. Sound like a church. Say I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Yes, yes. Welcome. Um, okay, you can go now. Bye. Yeah. So as I was saying, the, 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 there's a lot of stigma surrounding the vegan community. And I think a lot of it has to do with misinformation, but also there are some problematic vegans. I won't lie that the all for one mentality where it's either you're vegan, which is associated with being a good person or you're not vegan. And then you're automatically a bad person. They don't give people uh, a break, you know, to breathe. Some people are un unable to be vegan. Um, so let's just put that aside. A lot of people think being vegan is like a snobbish way of living or um, it's for the elite. Okay. <laughs> Kopano, why are you here? <laughs> this thing is being short. Okay. <clears throat> so, are you single? Because <laughs> I think I just found the one for, for me. That's Nikashni. Hi, Nikashni. Um, I'm happy for you that you found the one. As for whether I'm single, where, in the world, in the universe, I'm joking. Um, yes, I am currently, at the moment, um, I am single, with a comma, not a full stop. Okay, if you know what that means, you know what that means. Okay, okay. Alrighty, um, how are online classes? Honestly, I think, for me, online classes are fine. I prefer face-to-face -face classes i like to touch i want to feel i want to see people i want motivated me to start a youtube channel okay i was motivated to start a youtube channel because i thought it was going to be really fun but trisha bright let me just put ellen fisher one side trisha bright was the, the main the main one she really inspired me to become a youtuber because she shared her story of how in the beginning she only had two viewers and meanwhile the one viewer was herself because she kept watching herself and the other viewer was her mom and i was like wow she's come such a long way and she just she's so real um she had information that otherwise others wouldn't have access to like her new um youtube channel that's called the break i think that's what it's called 
um, and she shares business advice about how to invest your money and how to be business savvy things like that are very important because it's very empowering for women especially and um, it's the kind of information that you probably would get at like university level information because she did study business I think like accounting I think she said so yeah so I just want to creating a platform where I can share positivity and love or starting it would would help me to remain like accountable <laughs> for what I eat and what I do to my skin because now I know people are watching me as well I know that can be a bit problematic when you're doing things because people are watching you but not like that guys don't it's not that deep it's not like that um it's just I just wanted a place that I could document my journey from when I was younger and for memories I mean when I'm older I can look at these videos and be like yo I remember when I made this what happened that day you know what I mean so yeah um okay where do I see myself in 10 years yo Tariro why <laughs> where do I see myself in 10 years living a lavish life I mean <laughs> I'll be sipping on champagne, not Vitamilk. Oh, this is really nice. Actually, no. I'll be sipping on Vitamilk because I can. You see, because I, I have I have the, the opportunity. But I'll have other things. I'll be sipping on wines. Mm -hmm. um, in 10 years, I want to... 10 years? How old will I be? Yeah, I'll be 30. In 10 years, um, I see myself really happy, honestly and i'm putting it out into the universe i feel like what you say with your tongue is very important people don't realize so i'm declaring today is today i'm declaring in 10 years time i see myself really really happy i see myself knowing exactly what it is i want to do uh study wise with somebody yes i see myself with somebody long term that i'll be with long term whether or not we'll be married by then who knows only god knows um hopefully this listen this is in an ideal world if and when corona decides to leave us alone then yes and and then people stop creating um viruses for us then yes this this will most likely happen otherwise jesus can come and i will just say i see myself in heaven okay where's the mans we want to know uh <laughs> i'm gonna make a separate video for this but just as a summary the man's the man's um he's deleted i i deleted him because why is so quiet because i'm taking a video uncle where are the rest they are in their respective homes in their rooms so they don't want, you don't want them to disturb you yeah because they will hear yeah they'll make a noise and then it'll be on my video so they chased them. And I didn't chase them. They just knew in their hearts that they had to go. Um, so I must go also. If you know in your heart, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ethnicity? And this question was asked by Elizabeth. So I am half Nigerian and half South African. And by South African, I mean Sutu. Uh, in the names Bosola and Bosale, respectively. Bosale. So weird. Um, yeah. Um, I heard you could also speak Portuguese. Did you self teach? I live in a home that is very diverse, <laughs> if I say. Um, my mom can speak Portuguese as well because uh, she's Mozambican. So she speaks Portuguese. And so because of that, I I learned how to speak a little bit of Portuguese, but not fluently. And then now in university, I'm taking Portuguese classes to just buff, buff up the edges, just to polish, you understand? Okay, um, have you ever cheated, like had a meal with meat in it? <laughs> yeah, my heart stopped, so I'm not good. Um, yes, I've cheated before. That's the truth I have. And yes, I've let the devil whisper in my ear, yes. And yes, I fell into temptation, yes. It has happened. I'm not proud, but I'm glad it happened because it just shows that it's not easy. Um, stopping to eat meat was a decision I made, not because I didn't like the taste of meat, but because I had to think about the future, about the generations and of myself. I knew that eating meat was 
especially the, the kind of meat the quality of meat that they produce nowadays and not just meats just dairy products in general are not good for my body anymore um so i had to make a decision do you follow any workout routines if so share um we want to flash as well lols uh, yeah i do follow a workout routine i'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of, about this one it's the chloe ting uh two weeks shredder and i'm also doing the other program as well um that's the workout routine that i'm i'm currently doing i'm currently following yeah those are the questions oh, for us the real me <laughs> i'm tired of hiding behind instagram <laughs> this is the real me your hair looks nice thanks the real me. This is Yemi. You can say hi. Hi guys. Hi. I'm going to Anyway, that's my sister. My older sister. So yeah. At what age did you go on your first date? I went on my first date when I was 16. 16 years old. 16. All the other ones before that did not count. That was just, we're going to eat knickknacks by the park. Which, which kind of date be that? No. Um, proper dates where i got dressed i said yes i'm i'm carrying shoulder you know um yeah that was when i was 16. i just wanted to say i really apologize for not posting i haven't been consistent because i don't know if it's just me but these lecturers it's like they think now that we're at home the hours in the day they stretch i don't know i don't know it's like they think we don't have 24 hours anymore in a day it's like we have 51 or something because the amount of work that they've been giving us is not making a sense it's not i mean just to think about it for a second just to sit down and to think about it do you understand so yeah um say so i've been really busy with school and just thinking about school when i'm not busy with school i'm thinking about school but i'm not thinking about school i'm thinking about the lectures i'm thinking to figure out are they wicked what is it you know, because there's something, kind of something, there's something, something has to explain why, how can they do something like that, you know? So, yeah, um, anyway, so that's why I didn't post and ask you some sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, uh, Q&A somewhat. Um, I'm going to have another one later on just because I just felt like these questions didn't delve deeper into my soul in... Um, I just want to let you guys know about who I am. So yeah, they're just surface level, just to brush the top. I don't see it, it needs to be a, a progress, step by step. I'm showing you slowly who I am. I'm like an onion, peel slowly. And I'm, I don't like onion, it's smelling. Mm, I'm like a, a banana, banana smells sweet. I'm like a banana, just peel slow. So yeah, um, bye. Bye. <laughs> Let me okie dokie, follow me and follow Bosali at um, Bosola underscore. No, okay, 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 your surname. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is what I'm drinking for those of you that are not familiar with this wonderfulness. I don't really like the strawberry one, honestly. I prefer the banana one, but we move we compromise life is about compromise and you need to learn to move forward regardless of what life throws at you if it gives you strawberry make bites and milk okay. bye please like and subscribe and please share with your friends tell your church mates even if you haven't been to church just send chain message it's okay i'll this one i'll let you send chain message on whatsapp send to facebook even show people on facebook i don't mind can't come kill myself you know um yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe and share and enjoy the rest of your day and be happy guys even if it's hard just smile confuse the enemy just show your teeth okay okay cheers bye bye